Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. Starting with the new year with a new card in Clash Royale. We have the Firecracker card that originally wasn't going to release until a few days later, but they might have accidentally released it in game in the draft. We'll talk about that later. I haven't seen this card yet, but let's look at this video with my first impressions of it. Happy New Year to Clash Royale fans around the world. I'm Seth. I'm Drew. And we're here on another episode of TV Royale to tell you about the newest card coming to the arena in Season 7. Yes. She is called the Firecracker. Here's some cool gameplay. Let's get into it. <laughs> Firecracker is the newest card that will be coming out in Season 7. Firecracker is a three-cost common. She shoots her firework out of her homemade bazooka. Yeah. And when it hits the first target, it deals a lot of damage to them, but explodes in a uh, almost like a cone shape. Yeah, and hits units behind the oh. target. The first version was actually called Rocketeer. Yeah. She was a little more military, a little more... Musketeer. Yeah, more like Musketeer-ish, and had a multi-rocket. She didn't really hit what you wanted her to hit, and so we came with the idea of, hey, how about when she hits something, she fires a hunter projectile, like the shotgun, mm. and that was kind of inspired by Penny from Brawl Stars. Penny shoots her little coin purse yeah, thing yeah, from her cannon. Yeah. Coins, yeah. yeah, and it hits other brawlers behind, so we were like, hey, let's take that idea and steal it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew pretty much right away though, after this change, we liked the gameplay, but the name Rocketeer didn't quite fit. When this concept art came out with the torch, we were like, oh man, she looks like such a renegade. She's an archer, but she didn't like being an archer. So she leaves archer school, comes across the rascals, you know, rascal boy, rascal girls. Yeah. Brees gave out the idea of Firecracker mm -hmm. as, as a really cool name, because we were like, yeah, that's perfect. You think she's going to have a small effect, but she goes with a big bang. So it's kind of an ironic name. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. calling a big dude tiny. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. And you see her pull out yeah, the big bazooka. Huge bazooka it's yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So why did we choose to put another long-range card in the game? When you have, say, Giant with a Musketeer a few tiles behind it, it's actually hard to hit that Musketeer. So what we like about Firecracker is that she hits the main target, and depending on how you've angled it, kind of like Magic Archer, depending on your geometry, geometry, if you can hit the main target, the shrapnel that fires behind will hit the support troops pretty consistently. Yeah, kind of like punish the troops that are hiding behind the tank. This is a really cool concept that we wanted to introduce to lower levels. The firework that she shoots is so large and powerful that it knocks her back. Yeah. Knocks her back two tiles every time she fires. And also, with the really long range, she can reach things that maybe a lot of other troops in the game couldn't. Yeah. She'll hit the princess tower, the shrapnel goes behind the tower and can take chip damage away from those buildings. There'll probably be some really cool ways to activate the king tower as well with her, so there'll, mm -hmm. be, there'll be some, some oh, fun experiments to be had uh, while playing with and against her. Yeah. So when is Firecracker going to be released? Well, uh, at the start of Season 7, right. she will be available in a Ooh. challenge, and the same as we did in last season, for those of you that missed it, when you unlock Firecracker, she will then be boosted to your King level. If you're yes. King level 13, you will get a Max level Firecracker unlocked for you. So some of the nitty gritty stats. Three cost, common, will be in Hog Mountain once she's fully released, but of course you can unlock her early from challenges. She has the same hit points as an archer, so she can be taken out by arrows. Right, but she will survive the what? log. Firecracker will be entering the arena alongside season seven, which uh, we are using to celebrate the Lunar New Year. So we have a brand new arena coming. Could say her release will be explosive. If your New Year's resolution was to not look at your phone, break it on January 6th. Don't break your phone. Break Don't break your, your phone. Resolution. Break the resolution. Come back for the firecracker. Start of season seven. Make sure you're subscribed so you can catch the new season seven video that will be out soon that shows you the new arena and the new tower skin. We'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I did that. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. So we've got a firecracker card. They're not telling us how much damage it does, but it looks like it deals a little bit less because it didn't take out the skeletons. Look at that. It Right behind it, it doesn't fully kill the goblins or the skeletons. It hit the tower. That's like a 10 tile range. That is magic archer long. This one's an earlier concept, so it's dealing a lot of explosions on here. But here's a recent one. Just freaking wrecks that healer, just like Penny does. Penny deals so much more damage though. I don't know the actual stats, which I do have. Ha <laughs> ha So that's a really cool concept art that you have going on. An archer with different col with the rascal color theme and a firecracker on top. This seems like a lot, but it's not that much. Musketeer went down to one third, a little bit less, a little bit less. The angle of incident. 
Seems like if angled correctly, you could two-shot a musketeer. What I love about this though is that she knocks back a full towel every time she shoots. That's like a towel and a half. That allows you to build up so much elixir. Ooh, dodge the knight if you if you place it correctly. Just building up the really big pushes, this is gonna be really cool. Oh my goodness, she takes out the elixir collector too. And they're gonna be releasing it January 6th. A new season? January 6th, confirmed here! That's when this current season ends, so it's about time. There's gonna be a card level boost for it. I'm looking forward to this, it's gonna be so good. This She looks so fun to play. Two firecrackers there, boom, boom. I'm guessing she's gonna cost four elixir. Just completely stops the giant push. So this was leaked in game. At 2 a.m. my time, MST, she was released accidentally in one of the draft picks and you could actually play her screenshots from in game before they released the maintenance at 4 a.m so we did this firecracker level nine blah 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 um bryce promise oh before we get into the stats though bryce promised the clue about clash royale's biggest release of 2020 in one of the renders is that a clue is that a king tower is that a builder i is is that like a new skin for the king tower i that's that's i don't know no that's too shady are there any clues fabric i only see eyeballs well here are her stats she has the same hit points as an archer three second hit speed so it's a little bit slower so her range damage deals 53 per pellet that shoots from behind that's 265 damage that's potentially more damage than the front theoretically take out a musketeer from in behind a giant if you if she's right hugging it and you get all of it at once attacks air and ground has a six range plus probably her ranged her other range there's four tiles i'm guessing it's gonna be a 10 tile reach pretty nuts and one more thing king activations and one more thing that aaron mentioned on his twitter was that he has this clip of this look at this from alex too Okay. Oh, the firecracker. That king activation is too easy. Not like this. Not like this. And it just took it all the bats. That that splash is nuts. Oh my goodness. She keeps going. Was the king activation worth it? I, I'd say it was worth it. Oh my goodness. She just keeps on giving. Look at her range. She just keeps shooting. That's so much value! The feck? Two firecrackers. Oh my goodness. And she just blasted backwards from the royal giant into safety. I love this! And she blasted behind the king tower. Do not plant stuff behind the king tower. Whoo! I'm excited for this firecracker. There's gonna be tech videos. There's gonna be first impressions of everything. I'm excited for this card. The, the mechanics look so fun to play. She's really fragile. Dies to arrows. Is kind of like Penny, but Hunter, but more Penny. Long ranged, takes out beatdown. There's so many cool interactions with this. I'm so excited to make a tech video for this. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want notifications for the next video that I'm gonna be releasing. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ. Huh, this is in the video the whole time.